Hey Harmonizers, this is a Felix update. He's looking really good. So this is our second ride and this was our first time going around the arena the whole way. So the first time that I rode him, it was super loud and windy. It was basically like a hurricane going on outside. And uh, tonight, or it's actually during the day, it's a much nicer day, much quieter. We've got Nova in the ring with us again. Franny's riding Nova while she's taking the video here. And so this is his first time walking around the arena with me all the way around. And you can see he's doing a really good job. He's looking a little bit at the stuff on the side of the arena. He's not entirely sure, but he's not doing anything super awful or anything. There's uh, one little moment there where he just kind of barely startles off to the side looking at that gate on the ground. But he's really not used to seeing any of this kind of stuff. And after just doing a, a walk lap each way, take him up into a trot and he's really quiet about it. And when they're nervous in a particular area, I tend to trot them only where they're super comfortable. And then you see I'm taking him back down to walk again as we go to the far end of the arena where he is not super comfortable yet. So as we get going around the arena, it, he settles in pretty quickly, which is great because he's really young still. He's just turning four this year. So I really don't want to be doing a lot of time on his back, just short rides, like no more than 30 minutes and just kind of focusing on the priority skills of steering, confidence, working on his go buttons, things like that. So we're not really worried about how he's carrying his head or anything like that. We're just trying to get him to go around and be comfortable with me and just understand all of those basic cues. I really love him. He's got such a great attitude and he's pretty comfortable to ride. And this is only his second ride with me and we're going around the whole arena and he's doing so awesome today. So now you can see he's going all the way around and <laughs> compared to our first ride where he felt like barely broke under saddle to this ride where he definitely still feels green like he kind of looks at things and stuff but here's a little look at just kind of how good his brain is where I'm asking him to go over this little mattress he's sniffing it he's inspecting it a little bit and then when he does go on and he steps on it it's no real big deal he actually touches it with all four feet doesn't scoot or anything like that you can see his ears are a little to the side which suggests that he's not entirely com confident with it but he seems really calm in his nature which is great so I think it's going to be pretty easy to train as long as we're you know kind and gentle to him I think he's going to come along really really well and then I was like all right let's try to do our first canter so here I'm like asking for really fast and asking him to go and he doesn't quite get it and the thing about asking for a first canner is yeah you want the horse to go faster and faster and break into that canner but you don't want the horse to panic into that canner so I don't want to like kick him really hard or make it a really bad thing because here you can see he's actually starting to shut down a little bit so that him stopping by the cross tie area there is him kind of saying oh like this is scary this is a lot I gotta stop and like there he's doing it again when he kind of shuts down and he um, stops he's like oh, I don't know if I can do this and he's getting worried. So I want to make sure um, that my reins are really loose and allowing him to go. Um, there he did like one stride of canter kind of by accident probably. So I just kind of let him walk for a second and say thank you. That's the right idea. And you can see my reins. Even though I'm holding my reins ready to pull his head up if he were to do anything silly at the canter. I'm not actually pulling on his face at all. Unless I'm steering around the corner or something like that. And I'm encouraging him to go and I'm giving gentle bumps and I'm giving him some kiss noises and things like that. But I'm not, um, I'm not like kicking him super hard there. I'm trying to pull to see if that will get him to go over into a canner because sometimes horses, if they do a little jump, that will ease them into a canner. And for him, he's just like, oh, I don't really know that I feel comfortable doing this and some people would pick up a crop or spurs or things like that, but you can see he's he's kind of shutting down a little bit there. So I don't want to add more pressure because I don't want to cause him to become a bolter because when horses shut down, um, the next step, if you're not listening to their stress, is for them to really freak out and, and to bolt or run, try to run away or something like that. So I don't want to do that. I'm just kind of encouraging him 
and I'm realizing, okay, the pole is not helping. For some horses, that's really easy for them. They just do the pole and they naturally fall into the canter. But for him, it's not really working. So I'm going to be switching up my strategy here in a second. But I'm trying really hard and like bumping a little bit. I'm sitting. I'm trying to scoop, trying to do the pole. And I'm like, all right, this is not working with the pole or anything. And you can't make the horse go around laps and laps and laps and laps because they're going to get tired so it just doesn't really work. So I'm like, okay, well, he went a little faster. We'll try going to the right, which is actually his more balanced way. When I lunge him, he seems to hold his right canter lead better than his left canter lead. So we're going around to the right, trotting the little area. And now, um, and we are at this point for any got off Nova. So she was able to kiss a little bit and almost pretend like she was lunging him around the corner. And we get our first canner going to the right. And I wanted to hold the canner long enough that he had a chance to really get relaxed in the canner, make sure that he breathed. And then we come down to a stop, which he stops really well. And he's going to earn that little cookie there. So that was a really great canner for his first canner. Worked really well. And for him, it worked combining the ground cue person with me riding on top. So here's now a look at going to the left. And this is his way that's not as strong. And you can see he actually picked up his right canter lead and then did a flying lead change to get that left lead. And then there he just kind of stumbles a little bit. We don't steer so well through that corner there. So he breaks to trot. So I'll have to restart that left lead canter again. We'll ask him to do that. And you can see it kind of jumps into it a little bit. And in those moments, it's really important that I just kind of have attitude of whatever, like, let's just try it again, because we don't want to cause anxiety through this. We want this to be happy and okay. So we just kind of say, let's try again. But it it is tiring because I'm like, okay, like I'm trying to balance out that we need to go, but we don't want him to get really out of breath. So I'm like, okay, we have to take a moment to just walk for a second, let him catch his breath because we don't want to kill the poor little guy trying to get this canner lead. That's not going to help him build up his um, confidence or anything like that. So I'm like, all right, let's walk for a second, catch our breath, and then we're going to try again and then recognize that this is really hard for him. So how can we make this a really good experience for him? And basically what's going to happen here is I'm going to ask him to try really hard, give me a good canner to the left. And then not only is he going to get a cookie, but I'm going to hop off and we're going to call it a day. So he does his right lead again and then flying lead changes to the left. And then he canters around on the left lead. It's nice that he's got a nice natural lead change. Here he canters through the corner. He listens to the steering there for the circle. So I'm like, all right, this is looking awesome. So I want to make sure I ride past the gate. Don't want to stop at the gate. We want to make sure we stop far away from the gate. And I'm like, and that's it. I'm going to hop off of him down here away from the gate where we're trying to build more comfort. He's going to get his cookie. And we're going to say that that was a great second ride at the farm. So, so far, I'm really happy with Felix, really excited for his future.